Hey there, Taurus, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading for the week of April 7th through April 13th, and we're going to take a look at your past, your present, and your near future energies. Also, Taurus, remember, because this is a general reading, I could be picking up on your energy or your person's energy, so the energies do go both ways. Make sure to take the energies as they resonate for you. Also, Taurus, oh, please remember to stick around until the very end of this reading for a message from Spirit. Um, it really, really ties in everything so beautifully. What is going on here, Taurus? These are very, ah, uh, there we go. That explains it. Okay. I get it. I get it now. So the main energy for your reading this week is the temperance. There's a lot of healing going on here for you. Tons and tons of healing. Um, that's why I was confused because I'm seeing very conflicting energies and usually when I see that it's because you're getting rid of one painful difficult energy moving into a much more positive energy. So in the recent past you get the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Two of Cups. You're making a decision here about love. You're making a decision to not be confused, not allow yourself to get bogged down by the details, by all the different variables. You're just like, you know what, this is what I feel, this is what I want to do, this is the direction I'm going to go in. And I'm just going to feel love. I'm going to allow myself to act from a very loving place. And I do see a connection showing up here for you. Um, we'll see exactly what this connection is about. It could be a new connection or it could be something that, you know, is, is more in the, in the beginning stages. Now, in the current situation, you get the chariot, the three of swords, the three of wands. There's some emotional pain that you're working through here. Okay, you're working through this, you're processing it, you're getting rid of this emotional pain, and then you're waiting. I'm not sure what you're waiting for, but it could be usually when I see this combination of cards, it's because you've worked through the pain, you've worked through the difficult stuff, you've worked through the surface level things, and then you're getting to the deep point, the deep part of your higher self, and you're like, okay, now I want to move forward in a much more aligned way. Where do I go? What do I do? In the near future, you get the Four of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. There's a lot of healing happening for you here in the near future, and I feel like this healing has a lot to do with some abandonment issues that you may have. So with the five of pentacles, you may have a fear of abandonment, you may have a fear of losing something, you may have a, a focus on your um, scarcity, right? Like scarcity mindset where you're not really allowing all the abundance and the prosperity in the world to come to you, you're healing that. You're working on that and then as a result of healing that, you're stepping into an energy of a page of wands. Very carefree, very happy, very fun, very lighthearted. So let's clarify. I want to start off by clarifying this temperance for you and seeing what the main energy for your reading is this week. Temperance is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely healing this tendency that you may have to overthink and overanalyze things. And you're stepping into an energy of grounded, balanced, Queen of Pentacles is a very stable, very nurturing, very self-loving energy. And so what you're actually healing throughout this whole reading, and you can see it all over the place, is your tendency to go up and into your mind and overanalyze things and catastrophize things and always look at the worst case scenario. At literally, instead of asking yourself what's the best thing that can happen, your mind immediately goes to, okay, what's the worst thing that can happen here and how is this going to go terribly, terribly wrong? So that's what's being healed here uh, this week. This is beautiful. Let's see. Let's clarify the recent past. I would like to see what this Knight of Swords is for you in the recent past. Okay. So the Knight of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, the Star, the Nine of Swords. There was definitely a brand new beginning, a tangible brand new beginning here. Not just like, you know in the theory, like an actual you and something else having a brand new beginning. Now this could be a new job, this could be a new relationship, I don't quite know yet. You've had a desire for this for quite some time. You've really, really been wanting this for quite some time. And I see this new beginning coming together, it took place, but then it stressed you out. Then it freaked you out. Then there's a lot of overthinking coming in here. So it could be that this you guys came together and then detached. It could be that, you know, you got the job interview, but you don't know if you got the position yet. But all I see is this, in the recent past, a deep, deep yearning for this new beginning, getting it, and then once you got it, you're like, oh, 
it's here, what do I do, type of thing. Let's take a look at the Seven of Cups for you in the recent past. Seven of Cups is clarified by the King of Cups, the Emperor, and the Justice. Yeah, there's a lot of love that you carried for somebody here. So I feel like whatever this brand new beginning was, it was a connection. It was a with another person, right? It doesn't necessarily have to do with your job. Um, this came together. This new beginning came together. You and this person came together. And you're coming from a place of wanting to balance things out. I feel like in the recent past, there was a lot of confusion between the two of you. A lot of things went down between you and this other person. And you're showing me here, you know what, I just literally, I want to restore divine balance. That's all I want. Let's just, I love you, I care about you, let's just restore this divine balance. So that's not saying, hey, I want to get back together with you. For some of you, it may be. But all you're showing me here is that you have a very deep emotional connection to this person. You carry a lot of love for them. And it's also very stable love. Um, and you just, you wanted to balance things out. There was something here which wasn't right, wasn't working between the two of you. You balanced it out. Or at least you have the desire to do so. Um, let's take a look at the Two of Cups for you in the recent past. There you are. Okay. So this is definitely about a connection. This is definitely somebody you have history with too. Two of Cups is clarified by the higher font, which is you. The Three of Cups, the Eight of Wands. You wanted to reconcile with this person. You and this person came back together. Things were smoothed out. It's almost like, you know, we crossed our T's, dotted our I's, everything was good. And then the, after you guys realize, okay, everything's good, we don't hate each other, there's no drama here, you're like, okay, I want, I want to get back together. And I feel like you even communicated this to this person. Um, or they communicated it to you. Somebody was definitely like, I feel the love. I want to get back together. I want to see where this can go. Like, let's, let's have a talk. Let's have a conversation. So, not really sure where that's going, but... It's like the, the conversation was definitely there. Like somebody expressed the desire to reconcile, the desire to get back together, the desire to have love here again. Let's take a look at the current situation. I want to see what the chariot is for you in the current situation. The chariot is clear. Oh, I see. Where did you get the seven of cups? Uh-huh. So, the chariot is clarified by the seven of cups, the five of swords, the ten of cups. You're showing me we moved past this. Whatever confusion, whatever disagreement, whatever needed to be straightened out, we straightened that out. We moved past that in the recent past. I call bullshit here, Taurus, because I don't feel like you fully did. Maybe you think you did, but even that, I don't think like you feel like you did. You're showing me an energy of, yeah, yeah, we're done. We're done with that. We moved past that. It's good. Everything's good. I'm good. They're good. Everything's good. We're good. I don't think you're actually that good. You're showing me an energy of I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, but I don't think you're actually that good because the five of swords is here. So whatever you moved past, it's almost like you've kind of just kind of brushed it under the rug and you're like, yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We don't, everything's fine. It's good. Okay. If you say so. I don't believe you because you get the three of swords at the bottom of the deck and you get the three of swords again in the current situation. Maybe one of you is fine, although I don't think either of you is fine, if I'm being honest. Definitely not you. You may be telling yourself you're fine, but I don't think you're fine. Let's take a look at this three of swords in the current situation. You don't want to deal with that. The Three of Swords is clarified by the strength, the hanged man, the Three of Swords. The Three of Pentacles, I'm sorry. This partnership between you and this other person, it's showing up as a friendship, but I can see that there's more there. At least for you, there's definitely love there, okay? But you're showing me that there's also, the, the, the way you two come to, I don't even know how to like phrase these, the way you two come together, it's like you guys are coming together under a friendship, but there's a lot of emotional pain buried here for you tied up to this connection. And you don't want to deal with it. You don't want to deal with it. You're like, you know what? It's too difficult to look at this pain. It's too difficult to deal with this pain. It's better if I just don't do anything. Not as their friend, not dealing with this pain, just nothing. Like just freezing, staying in one place. Because actually moving towards them or actually detaching from them or actually dealing with the pain that I have attached to them is just too much. It's too hard for me. Like, I don't, I don't want to deal with this. So you're showing me it's just easier for me to not do anything. 
That could be why this Three of Wands is here. You're just waiting for this pain to maybe resolve itself, or you're waiting for, for this whole thing to just kind of figure itself out with, without you actually having to take action. Because it's too difficult for you to do anything when it comes to this. Three of Wands is clarified by the Two of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Fool. Yeah, you want a brand new beginning here. You really do. You want to rekindle this spark between you and them. You want to have a brand new beginning. Whether it's a completely brand new beginning by yourself, although I don't feel like that's the case, I feel like it's more so you want to rekindle something with this person. But what you're waiting for is to actually see the path, see which way to go. It's like, again, remember how I said you don't know, it's too difficult for you to decide whether to move to this, towards this person or away from them? To deal with the pain by detaching from them or to deal with the pain by moving towards them. There's pain either way, right? You're stuck between a rock and a hard place. You're just not moving. And so you're waiting here. You're like, you know what? I know what I want. I'm just going to wait. Maybe something's going to come to me and I'll just be like, okay, this way I don't have to deal with the pain. I don't have to deal with them and I can still get what I want. You're sitting on this bench, Taurus. You can get yourself up off this bench. You can take that blindfold off. You're choosing to stay where you're at. And yes, I see a clear desire to have a brand new beginning here, to completely like a brand new, happy, carefree beginning. I see that desire, but you're not doing anything. And so, you know, it's, it's like you're just expecting this brand new, beautiful beginning to just fall into your lap. Let's take a look at your near future. I want to see what this Four of Swords is for you in the near future. Okay, Four of Swords is clarified by the Tower, the Hermit, the World. Really, really, really big, powerful healing energies. You're closing cycles out here, Taurus. And it's not just, you know, like, oh, okay, I'm done with them. I'm never talking to them again. Or, you know, I decided that I don't want this connection. No, it's deeper than that. There's healing on like a higher level, on your higher soul, um, your higher self, I'm sorry, on that level. It's almost like this, whatever this is, You've learned everything you need to learn from this. You have to finalize this chapter. There's something here which you know deep down you can't keep resisting. This thing, whatever it is you need to finalize, and I don't know what this is. You would know what this is. But there's something here deep, deep within you that needs to be finalized. It's like you need to finally check that off. And you've been resisting it. You've been fighting it. You didn't want to do it. You're kind of just like pushing against it because it's too hard. It's too difficult to deal with it. In the near future, it's going to become apparent that you can't keep ignoring this anymore. Spirit's going to throw in some tower moments to nudge you gently, not so gently, in the right direction. Because that's where your healing lies. That's where this healing that you so need is. And in the current situation, I see you just kind of avoiding it. Just being like, eh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. No, I'm just going to wait. You know, in the near future, I don't feel like you're going to wait anymore. It's going to get pretty uncomfortable to resist this. I mean, we all have free will, right? You're not, you can't be forced to do anything, but um, with the tower coming in, it's going to be some pretty intense energy. Let's take a look at the five of pentacles for you in the near future. It all comes up again, Taurus. Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Pentacles. Again, the Queen of Cups, the Three of Swords. That's what this pain is about. You have a loss here. There's a loss. There's a break. There's a separation between you and somebody else. And that's where that pain is. That's, where, that's what you don't want to deal with. That's where you don't want to dig deep because it's too painful. There's love. You're showing me in the current situation, it's too difficult for me to deal with this friendship, to move towards this person, to collaborate with them. In the near future, it's not the friendship. It's the love that you carry tied up to this friendship. But along with the love, there's also a lot of emotional pain as a result of a separation, as a result of you feeling abandoned by this person and by this connection, that pain comes up again. And I feel like you're going to deal with it this time. I feel like you're like, okay, I can't really keep avoiding this anymore. Let's take, okay. Page of Wands is clarified by the Magician. I'm sorry, by the Page of Wands, again, the Magician, the Knight of Cups. You're manifesting love. You're showing me like you're in an energy of being open to love. You want love. You're manifesting love. Now, I don't know if you're manifesting love from this specific person or if you're manifesting love in general, but I do see this desire to just have love, to have somebody come in, express love, express feelings, express emotions to you. And again, it's not uncommon after we 
realize like, oh my gosh, this was so painful. This was so difficult. I want somebody else to come in and make it better. It's not really a very deep kind of love that you're showing me here, which is why I'm like, maybe it's not with this person from the past. I feel like it's, you're just, this is going to sound weird the way I'm saying it, but you're just kind of looking for someone to take your mind off of it, for someone to kind of light you up inside, be like, hey, Taurus, I love you. And you look at them and like, hey, you're hot. Yeah, I love you too. Come on, let's go. You know, because this deeper love that you carry, this love love that you carry is not in your life. And Taurus, I'm going to be honest, I don't feel like you, even in the near future, I don't feel like you want to deal with this. You're looking at the pain. You're looking at it and you're like, okay, I see you right there. Like pain, I see you. I see the pain. I don't see you actually doing anything to deal with it though. It's almost like you're kind of looking for another person. And you may actually have somebody already kind of lined up, you know, because um, you guys are beautiful. Your, your energy is radiant. You guys always have people attracted to you. Um... And so if, I feel like there's, you're, you're looking for somebody else to just come in, whether it's somebody you already know or whatever, to just come in and kind of like give you that love to fill that void that you're carrying as a result of another love that you perceived as lost or that you perceive as lost. This is intense. Let's, uh, let's close off your reading, see what spirit wants you to keep in mind this week, Taurus. I know this isn't like the best reading. I know you guys really come here for like positive messages and but I can't, I can't mask the energy, so I'm just going to read them as they are. From the universe, huh? This is weird the way it's coming through, Taurus. Um, from the universe, you get the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the High Priestess. You're showing me on an intuitive level. I know that I'm going to have this brand new beginning that I want. Remember I said in the current situation, there's a brand new beginning where it's like you want to rekindle the spark. You want to have this brand new beginning with someone, but you're not actually doing anything about it. You're just kind of waiting and hoping it falls in your lap. You're showing me here and the universe is showing me intuitively, you know, that this brand new beginning is going to happen. There's like no doubt in your mind, like me and this other person who I'm very attracted to, by the way, we're going to rekindle the spark. It's going to happen. I know this on like a soul level. This is your higher self talking to me, letting me know, like, this is literally what I know is going to happen. So maybe that's why you're waiting in the current situation and you're not taking action because you feel on an intuitive level like, yeah, I don't have to do anything. This is going to come to me anyway. And maybe it will, Taurus, but there's definitely healing that needs to happen here in the near future. That was cool. I was not expecting that message, to be honest. So Taurus, that is what I have for you. I know this reading is a little bit longer. I hope it helped. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you here next week.